Yo, what's up guys? Uh, I just really wanted to come on and make this video. Obviously, we just witnessed the All-Star Weekend and the All-Star Game. I think it was pretty entertaining. I think for what they had and what they had going, I think it was okay for the time being. Whether they should have had the All-Star Game or not, that's a whole nother debate. But I wanted to talk about just something really quick. I'm gonna try not to make this video too long. But last night, uh, there was a lot of people talking about how Damian Lillard was already better than Curry and, you know, all this type of stuff. You know, truth be told, here on Bay Talk, you already know me and Jay, uh, we love Damian Lillard. Obviously, he's from the Bay Area, you know, Oakland boy. Love that dude. We have signature shoes and shirts of that guy. Don't be calling us haters because we mess with Damian Lillard pretty heavily on this show. With that being said, however... I think it needs to be said more clearly to a lot of people who watch the NBA and specifically Damian Lillard. Obviously, we all know he's great and that he's the most clutch player in the league today. I will definitely say that wholeheartedly. When the time is running down, I would much rather have Dame take it than any other player in the league. Maybe besides KD, I don't know, but personally, I would, I would take Lillard all day. I said something on Instagram last night that kind of hurt a lot of feelings of some people. I said Curry is pretty much a top 10, top 12 player of all time. You can debate. I don't think he's in the top 8, top 5, not even close. But I do think Steph is well within the top 15 or top 12, possibly even number 11. That's where I think Steph is all time right now. But that's just my opinion. You guys can comment what yours is and where Steph is all time in the comments but then after that i said in comparison all time i don't think damian lillard even cracks the top 40 or 50. a lot of people are saying like what are you smoking what are you drinking get your head out of your ass stop riding curry's bandwagon and whatever hear me out i know it sounds crazy there are a lot of people that already would put damian lillard in the top 30 to 40 players to ever play the game I didn't say in the past 20 years, I didn't say in the past 5 years, I didn't say in the past 30 years. I said all time. I just don't think Lillard cracks that list. Not right now. In today's game, Lillard is probably the first or second best point guard in the whole league. I will wholeheartedly agree with that too. He's in the MVP category and if he wins MVP, good. I will most certainly put him definitely in the top 30 or 40 players of all time if he wins an MVP especially this year because he's going crazy. There was a lot of people, like I said, saying that I'm crazy and that you're a hater and all that stuff when, you know, like I just said, Jay and I on the show, we absolutely mess with Damian Lillard 100%. I just really don't think he's even in the top 40 players to ever play. I don't think he is. That can change, but let me show you guys what I'm talking about. So like I said, Dame is clutch. So is Steph. Now, there is a stigma that Jay and I have talked about in previous episodes where we address the issue that people say that Steph is just not clutch. And we obviously all know that's not true and this is all just recency bias. Of course, anything that has to do with Lillard is pretty much recency bias as well, which is, you know, the whole point of this video. Just to talk about Steph really quick. Are we gonna act like these game winners didn't happen? Yeah, and these. Curry with three, got Marion off his feet, and scores with 1.5 on the clock. Set the screen down to three. Look how far they pushed him out. Curry down the lane for the lead. He got it. Green comes to set the back pick. Curry for the win. And these. And four. Curry to win. Good. They do have a timeout. Decide not to use it. Curry way downtown. Are we also gonna act like Steph didn't just drop 62 on Dame's head, or at least on his team, because, you know, they always throw the best defenders at Steph. 56 by himself. <laughs> Curry from Stop. deep. 59! <laughs> Why not? It's what else does this man have to do to prove to you that he is the greatest shooter? It's the problem for the opponents. Lillard a step back three. Rebound to Wiggins. Steph is running into the front court. Draymond <laughs> finds him another three. Oh. Got it! 62! 
Are we not gonna act like that game didn't just happen this season? For all you Dame fans out there, I love y'all because I love Dame as well. You're saying that Damian Lillard is already better than, just as good, or in the same conversation as the following players. All time, I'm talking about their career. All time, their whole career, Golden Mountain, where does Dame rank? So you're saying Damian Lillard is in the same conversation as Michael Jordan, LeBron James, Kobe Bryant, Shaquille O'Neal, Will Chamberlain, Magic Johnson, Larry Bird, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Bill Russell, Tim Duncan, Hakeem Olajuwon, Kevin Durant, Jerry West, Charles Barkley, Oscar Robertson, Steph Curry, Carl Malone, Julius Irving, KG, Dwayne Wade, Moses Malone, David Robinson, Allen Iverson, John Stockton, hell, even James Harden and Russell Westbrook have won MVP in this league. Isaiah Thomas, Kawhi Leonard, Steve Nash, Giannis Antetokounmpo, Rick Barry, Jason Kidd, Artis Gilmore, Chris Webber, Dikembe Mutombo, Alonzo Mourning, Gary Payton, Dominique Wilkins, Elvin Hayes, Wes Unseld, Walt Frazier, Dirk Nowitzki, Tracy McGrady, his own teammate Carmelo Anthony, John Havlicek, Elgin Baylor, Chris Paul, Patrick Ewing, Bob Pettit, and George Gervin. You want to put Lillard with those guys. Lillard is cold as shit. Lillard is the most clutch player in the league. One of the most clutch players of all time. No doubt when his fourth quarter is Dame time. We all know that. However, I'm sorry guys. No finals appearances. No championships. No finals MVP. No MVP. Not enough first team all NBAs. Not enough all-star appearances. And you guys already want to put Dame ahead of arguably the second or third best point guard to ever live in Steph. With not one, but two MVPs, one being the only unanimous MVP ever, the second leading three-point specialist in the league to ever play behind Ray Allen, which he will pass within the next year or two. Three rings, five straight championship appearances, swept Dame in the playoffs, without KD, by the way, in that series. I rest my case. I do think Lillard will be one of the better point guards to ever play i do think lillard will end up winning an mvp i do think lillard has a chance to win an nba championship just who knows when who knows how and i do think damian lillard is a top two point guard in the league today he is incredible i hope he keeps going i really do because i really mess with damian lillard so let's really just put this in perspective damian lillard is one of the coldest players to ever live However, let's slow down and appreciate where he is right now and all root for him to where he can be in the next couple of years. This is your boy Will from Bay Talk, and I'll see you guys on episode eight. Peace.